You read that correct. I'm here to convince you why you shouldn't start streaming. I'm random Frank. No. I am Linus with Linus Tech. No, that's not right either. I'm Dad and welcome to the Alpha Game. I'm Dad. Welcome to Wild for. What are we doing again? Welcome. I'm Dad and hopefully I don't waste your time. I'm going to start off by saying that Harris Heller did a video that was kind of similar to this. He made a couple points that I think were really great. And. I wanted to touch on a few more, so he's the one that motivated me to make this video. You can find him over on the Alpha Gaming channel, along with a lot of other great videos. So again, thank you, Harris. The first thing I'm going to talk about is time commitment. This is a big one because it's not just how much time you put into your stream, it's making sure that you keep that schedule. You don't have to stream every day. From what I've found by watching some of the most successful streamers out there is averaging a minimum of two to three hours seems to work best. For anyone out there that has a full-time job, that gets home 5 to 6 p.m., likes to eat food, and likes to sleep. Trying to stream three hours on top of that is very difficult. Sticking to your schedule is, again, very important. You don't get vacation time. You might be able to take a day here, a day there, off from your usual stream schedule. If you take more than two weeks off, I promise you, your followers are going to be the same, but your viewer numbers are going to start to go down. The rest of the commitment that's involved is across all other forms of social media, a strong one being YouTube. Many fantastic YouTube channels such as Alpha Gaming, Wild for Games, Gaming Careers have all touched on this point. Discoverability on Twitch is very bad. So you really have to branch out. Be on other forms of social media, Twitter, YouTube, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat. I'm dad. I don't, I can't keep up with all of them. Being on other forms of social media will take even more of a time commitment. There's more to the other social media platforms than just posting clips or a quick tweet. It takes time and effort and editing to bring more viewers to your stream. If there's a game you really like and you decide, I want to start streaming and I'm going to stream this one game. More than likely, that is not going to succeed unless you are one of the top 100 players of that game. Unless you're going to be streaming a very small game with not a lot of people streaming it, there's a very small chance that anyone is going to find your stream. If you're going to attempt to stream IRL, good luck because you have a lot of competition out there. Now let's talk about the big one, profit. Something that every streamer says at first that they don't care about. Every streamer gets on their platform of choice and says, I really don't care about profit. I'm not in it for the money, but in the end, it helps. So let's talk about that profit. You're not going to make any, at least for the first one to three years. Now, immediately, you're probably saying three years. Come on, that's ridiculous. That is mostly because within the first three years, profit that you have made is going to go right back into your stream. And that brings us to added costs. There's a lot more costs into streaming than people realize. Now let's say you're doing well. It's been one to three years. You start making a little bit of money. Where does that money go? Buy a better microphone, you buy a better camera, buy a second camera, you buy better lighting, you buy some LEDs to make your background a little more interesting. You buy some new games, you buy different software, you're upgrading your PC. And let's not forget one of my favorites, hiring a real graphic designer to do overlays, transitions. Actually, let's get into that. There are tons of costs when it comes to hiring a graphic designer. Most of the time you don't realize it if you're just starting off streaming or you're looking to upgrade your stream. Let me list them out as quickly as I can. Main overlay, stream starting soon, gaming overlay, be right back screen, transitions, logo, emotes, badges, channel points, offline screen, social media banner, alerts. Now you put all all that together and the profit you just made over the last three years, it just went right back into your stream. So let's talk again about that first year that you've been streaming. It's not easy. One of the hardest parts is actually talking on camera, more specifically talking to yourself on camera. Making a YouTube video is one thing because you can go in, you can edit, you can be whoever you want to be. But we're talking about a live stream. One thing that streamers have to do is continually talk. That can be very easy when you have people in your chat room talking to you and making conversation. When you're all alone and you're by yourself, you need to make sure that you keep talking. If someone new comes to your channel and you're just sitting there staring at your screen, not the camera, playing a game or doing whatever it is that you do, it's going to be very boring for them. And most likely within eight seconds, they're going to click away. So you do have to be comfortable with not just being on camera, not just talking to random people that you don't actually know, but you need to be comfortable with talking to a camera by yourself. Now onto something a little more serious, self doubt, lack of confidence and failure. 
These are all very common things that happen within the first year of streaming. Unless you already have a very strong social media presence somewhere else, when you start streaming, you're not going to see any viewers. And for some people, it can feel like they have failed, lack self-confidence. They start doubting themselves. This can be a very serious matter, and it can be hard, very hard for some people. I've seen many streamers start streaming, and within the first 12 months, they quit because they weren't not seeing their viewership going up. They were not seeing their followers going up fast enough. During that first year, you may feel like you have failed. This is probably one of the hardest parts of being a new streamer. You put a lot of time and effort into being a content creator and no one really notices. During that time, having a strong support team of friends and family can be very helpful. Speaking of home, you also need to realize that a streaming setup can take up a lot of space. You need to find an area of the home where you will be uninterrupted and it stays clean all the time. Have you decided the streaming may not be for you, but you like streamers? Find a small streamer that you like that plays similar games and be an active member of their community. You may even have the chance to play some of those games with them. Come check me out on Twitch sometime. You can find the link in my schedule down below. Thanks for watching. Once again, I'm Dad. Hopefully I didn't waste your time. And don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, DM, PM. I'm old.